Y'all, we're making keto Nutella. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling a copycat version of that favorite chocolate hazelnut spread that everybody loves, Nutella. Stay tuned. All right guys, a low carb version of the chocolate hazelnut Nutella. Can it be done? With over 23 grams of carbs per serving, it's delicious, but it's deadly for the keto diet. So today we're trying two of the most popular versions online. One of those is Keto Nutella. This is by the website fatforweightloss.com.au. And our second version is low carb chocolate hazelnut spread. And this is by the website ketodietapp.com. So we're gonna find out which of those recipes uh, works out to be the closest to the actual thing. Now, before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, the KetoSense Blood Ketone Monitor monitoring system by iSense. Um, as I mentioned in um, my uh, book, Ketogenic Diet on a Budget, um, testing is in, kind of valuable, especially when you're starting out. Uh, a lot of people go for the blood, uh, for, sorry, for the urine test strips uh, that you see, and those will show that you are possibly in ketosis um, for a very short period of time because your body, as you start, doesn't know what to do with those ketones, so it's tossing them away in your urine and it's able to count them. But after a while, your body learns learns to use the ketones as fuel. That's the point of the ketogenic diet. And as, uh, when it does so, it tosses less of those ketones out. And so the urine test strips can't test that. Um, the only true way is by blood monitoring. And uh, blood monitors for ketones can be very pricey. In fact, I own two other ones. So when KetoSense, um, iSense uh, reached out to me, uh, and I saw the price of the product, I was honestly shocked. Uh, it was uh, so low that I thought, well, this, I was almost kind of skeptical about it, but I agreed to test it out. And um, I tested it along with my others uh, too that I have, and they're straight across the board, um, all uh, were within a decimal of each other. So I I'm, I'm shocked at how reliable this is and accurate it is and how affordable it is. So this is a nice big screen and display. It makes it really easy to check without having to put your readers on like me. <laughs> and um, it'll store up to a thousand different readings. Now I just wanna show you how easy this is to do. For the squeamish here, I'm not gonna show any, any blood. Um, so you're just gonna you take your little test strip. There's no coating involved. You just slide it in. Wait three seconds. I've got my lancet that comes with it and it's cocked and loaded and ready to go. And I'm just going to, again, I'm going to blur this out. So for the squeamish involved, nothing to worry about. What's nice is this uh, meter takes half the amount of blood. I'm curious. This is going to be a surprise for both of us. I, I think I've been kicked out of ketosis. Okay, that's what I suspected. Uh, it, this uses half the blood of its nearest competitor. Generally for ketosis, nutritional, healthy ketosis, most people say you wanna be between 0 0.3 and 3.0. I'm at 0 0.2. Now, I'm not a doctor. You discuss that with your doctor. Um, but uh, I knew from a meal that I had last night with friends um, that I had done some damage and that this is able to tell me that. Um, it also has an app that comes with it so you can track this. I'm a data guy. I love charts and graphs and numbers and be able to see progress. And what I'm using it for uh, at this stage of the game is to make sure I'm still in ketosis, but testing products and recipes to see if it's kicking me out of ketosis. And I will tell you right now, one culprit that I've been eating a lot of is uh, a certain particular uh, commercial bread, um, keto bread, which I'll, shall remain nameless, uh, kicks me out of ketosis almost every single time. And I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true, but this proves it. I say every time sponsorships aren't uh, why I do this they're how I do this so when sponsorships like KetoSense and iSense come along um, and it's a product that I'm proud of and that I've been using those sponsorships keep channels like mine on the air so I'm truly appreciative so if you guys want to support me go support them uh, check out the link it'll be in the video description below click on those and see the sale price that they're offering right now and I think you too will be shocked at how uh, affordable and accurate this little guy is if you're uh, so curious so, all right, thank you so much, and let's go make some Nutella. Come on. All right, guys, so let's get started on our first recipe. Again, this is Keto Nutella, and that's by the website fatforweightloss.com.au. All the links will be here on the screen and in the video description below. Now, obviously, um, uh, Nutella is hazelnuts and a lot, a lot of sugar and some other, uh, and cocoa, right? Um, so we're gonna, obviously gonna start with hazelnuts here, and when you get them, you don't want pre-roasted. Um, if you can find dry roasted uh, that are shelled, that's fine. Um, 
um, but you, they're generally gonna have salt on them. You want them salt-free, raw, and they're gonna be in a husk like this, right? You don't want to eat that husk. We're gonna roast them in the oven with the husk on. Uh, so you just put them in a sheet pan. And then once they're totally cool, just grab some handfuls and rub them between your fingers like this and let the nuts and all the husk fall. So these are our hazelnuts that I've already roasted and gotten as much of the husk off as I can. And just to show you, these are the husks that came off. There's a bitter flavor in that that you do not really want. So um, I liked that he mentioned, I believe in Fat for Weight Loss, that this is still nutritional and tastes good, uh, but just not in a sweet, uh, so sprinkle it on salads if you want to, but I'm just probably gonna toss that. So um, it wasn't as daunting as it looked. Um, once you get all the husks in the pan, instead of picking them up, just scoot everything to the side of your baking pan and tilt it up a little bit and all the hazelnuts will roll to the bottom and all the husks will stay up at the top part. It makes it a lot easier. So um, I have already pre-roasted these. So these are gonna go in a food processor. You need a, a fast uh, pro food processor or a blender with a blade on the bottom to get it as smooth as possible. And now we're just gonna grind this. As, this could take a couple of minutes on high until it starts to almost clump together. So this is gonna be loud and obnoxious, so I'm just gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch it, and I'll come back and show you where we are at that point. So let's get started, it's gonna be real loud. Okay. So they're starting to almost clump together, as you can see. It's kind of making a almost, you don't, we're, we're getting to nut butter stage, right? So here's where we're gonna slowly add in some of our other things. And I wanna do that, normally you would do this uh, while it's r running, but I wanna talk you through what I'm putting in here. So hopefully I won't screw this up. This is gonna be coconut oil, all right? So it's virgin coconut oil. I'm gonna put that in. And this is gonna give it some body, right? And then, get out of the way, we're going to add in, this is um, powdered erythritol, um, and I bet this would be great with powdered allulose. Uh, again, that's one of those things that's one of the newer keto sweeteners. Uh, use a ketone meter or blood glucose meter and see if it bothers you. Allulose doesn't bother me, thankfully, but for purposes of the recipe, uh, I'm using what he called for, which was powdered erythritol. So that goes in. And then also, as you would imagine, the cocoa powder. This is where the chocolate comes from. And in our second recipe, we're gonna have multiple sources of chocolate. So that's what we're testing to see if cocoa powder is enough or if you need, if you need something else. And then a little bit of vanilla extract, not much. And a little pinch of salt, not much. Okay, bumps up that chocolate flavor. So now we're gonna run this until it is on high, until it is creamy and Nutella-esque. And I'll be right back here. We'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch it. And um, then we'll get started on our second recipe. These are pretty easy. Okay, that is nice and smooth. So now um, I'm gonna pour this off into a little jar here, hopefully without spilling any of this goodness, because let me tell you, hazelnuts are not cheap. <laughs> not around here at least. Now I'm just gonna pour this up in a jar uh, and then put this on uh, to the side and then I'm gonna clean up here and get started on our second recipe, right? So I'll see you back here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so let's get started on our second recipe. Uh, this is low-carb chocolate hazelnut spread by the website Keto Diet app. And this varies a little bit because it's gonna use a variety of nuts, not just hazelnuts. And it also has two different sources of chocolate. We've got cocoa and a bar of 85% um, dark chocolate. So we're gonna break this up now and I'm gonna put this in a bowl um, that's gonna go over a, um, a pot of boiling water on the stove in the back. So I'm gonna do that now so this can melt while we're grinding our nuts. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna put this over a boiling water. Uh, do not let the water touch the bottom of the bowl. This should sit just right on top. Okay, so now I did the same thing with our nuts. All of these have been roasted and we're using a less amount of the hazelnuts. Her, this particular recipe developer, she said she didn't care 
for the strong hazelnut taste and that I, cut, cutting in with some other nuts helped improve the carb count, the flavor for her, and also the heart health because these are uh, roasted, uh, toasted macadamias. Again, dry, uh, roasted, and then almonds as well, raw almonds. So all these are gonna go in the food processor and we're gonna do the same exact thing we did earlier and just grind these until they start to form a little bit of a, um, a, a ball. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna go tend to my um, uh, chocolate while this uh, grinds and we'll meet you right back here in just a bit. Okay, so our uh, nut butter is nice and um, smooth now. And now we're gonna add in the uh, usual suspects, our cocoa powder. Um, again, if you wanna know how much of each of these ingredients go to their websites, it's right there on the screen. This is also the same powdered um, erythritol. And I think, again, allulose would probably work great here too um, without getting gritty. And then uh, the coconut oil, just a little dab of that. Get off of my air, please. And the vanilla, just as in the other recipe, and a little pinch of salt as well. So let me go get our, get that out of the way. Let me go get our chocolate off of the stove and we're gonna add that as well. A little pinch of salt. Okay, so our chocolate is nice and melted. That bowl is hot. Uh, make sure you draw off the bottom of the bowl because you don't want to drip any water in here and seize your chocolate. So I'm going to drizzle this around. And then we're going to just process this while it's smooth. I'm very interested to see if adding the liquefied dark chocolate makes a difference in this. I can't imagine that it wouldn't. Um, but is it worth the effort? I'll also say that um, I encourage you to go get your nuts from the bulk section of the grocery store. That way you can just buy the, the only the amount you need um, and just you don't have any leftovers and waste. So let's um, buzz this through and uh, I'm gonna pour it in a jar and uh, pl uh, get these ready and we're gonna taste them in just a second. So I'll see you back here in just a minute. All right guys, so we are back and we're ready to taste our concoctions here. As you can see, they both, um, this one, uh, the second one, the darker one, is the one that had the chocolate bar in it and very slightly has more, um, more volume, although it had a little bit less nuts in it. So that's interesting, maybe the candy bar made up for that. So the point is now, what do they taste like? Let's go over nutrition first. Uh, let's remember that a tablespoon or sorry, two tablespoons of uh, Nutella, at least in America, has uh, 23 carbs, <laughs> right? 21 of that, I think, is sugar, straight sugar. If you took the jar of Nutella, half of it would be straight white sugar. Um, so we're trying to avoid that and the palm oil. So our first recipe, this is Keto Nutella by fatforweightloss.com.au. Uh, one serving is a tablespoon and it's 127 calories. You've got 13 grams of fat, you've got three grams of protein, three grams of total carbs, two grams of fiber, so that makes this one net carb per serving, per tablespoon, so not bad. Uh, certainly better than 23. Our second recipe is a low carb chocolate hazelnut spread. And this also is a uh, one tablespoon serving. One tablespoon is 93 calories. You've got nine grams of fat, 1.9 grams of protein, You've got 2.8 grams of total carbohydrates, 1.3 grams of fiber, which leaves you at 1.4 grams of net carbs. And again, this was by ketodietapp.com. So one net carb, 1.4 net carbs, was the extra um, work with the nuts and the um, uh, melted chocolate worth it? Let's find out. I've got multiple spoons because I'm not gonna double dip if I wanna take a second taste because these are gonna last a while. They can store in the fridge for about a month. So the consistency of this is pretty smooth. And mo um, one of the recipes said store it in the refrigerator. Um, and the other recipe said you could store it on the counter if you want it runny or store it in the fridge if you want it more firm. Um, I can't vouch for um, its shelf stability. Uh, so just be aware. So. Um, this is weird to just eat a spoonful of Nutella, but honestly, I've been known to do it. <laughs> All right, what does it taste like? Mm. Mm hmm. 
Mm. Nicely sweet. There's a little bit of gritty texture. Um, truthfully, this would be probably done in something better like a Blendtec or a Vitamix to get it perfectly smooth. But just using a commercial, uh, you know, a home um, uh, food processor or blender, you're probably not gonna get it as smooth as the commercial product. But gosh, that's good. Super nutty, just the right level of sweetness, which, mm-hmm. It is not as sweet as Nutella in the United States. As I understand, Nutella, depending on the country it's made, has different levels of sweetness in it. And of course, for us Americans, they're gonna make it as sweet as they can make it. All right, let me clear my palate. Okay, so let's try our second recipe. This one is a slightly warm from the melted chocolate. It also has a very nice, spreadable, smooth texture. Again, it is considerably darker. And let's see what it looks like. It's a messy way to eat. Mmm. That's really good. I definitely can taste the macadamia nuts. That gives a very distinct flavor. It is a slightly more chocolatey. Um, still have the same level of slight, very slight grittiness. That's again, due to my equipment, not, not the recipe, but uh, that is good. Um, I just don't know if I would go through the work with the melting of the chocolate. I don't know if it's that much more chocolatey. It is good. All right, guys. <laughs> These were both fantastic. And if you just tried one without trying the other, they would both feel like a homemade Nutella. Um, but comparing them side by side, I will slightly give the edge to the Keto Diet app version um, because that real chocolate and the cocoa mixed together really does pack a punch. And there's a reason this thing has almost, five, uh, what is it, like a thousand five-star reviews, close to a thousand five-star reviews. But again, if you don't want to go to that work, this one is just as tasty. Um, and serve these with keto pancakes or with a piece of keto bread or a drizzled on a piece of keto cake or, or just dip a berry in it or just your spoon <laughs> like I did here. So for a Nutella fan like me, this is, these are pretty doggone good. So try one of these and let me know down below uh, if you've tried it and, what you, and if you liked it. So thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, as I say every time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. Um, be sure you hit the like button down below. It lets YouTube uh, know that this is a video to recommend to other people. And if, please, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, check it and make sure that you're still subscribed and hit that bell button so you're notified as soon as I release a new video. Also, go check me out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's just highfalutin and low carb. I talk a little more frequently and a little more freely there um, and you can just join the conversation over there. Also, I need to give another quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, the KetoSense uh, BT bl Blood Ketone Monitoring System by iSense. Um, guys, check it out below. I'm really shocked, honestly, at the price of this thing and the accuracy. So thank you, um, iSense, for um, first for sponsoring the video and second for making uh, an affordable, accessible, and most um, importantly accurate blood ketone uh, monitor for, for, for us folks. So, and also, I also need to give a, um, be sure to check the link down below. I also need to give a thank you to my Patreon sponsors. You'll see them start to scroll here on the side. Uh, these guys are my rock stars. Um, without them, none of this would be possible. So if you don't know what um, um, Patreon is, think of it as uh, the tip jar for the internet. It lets people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube, give us a dollar or two a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks as it were. So without these guys, uh, none of this would be possible. So truly, I appreciate them with all my heart. And that guys, with that, I will see you soon for another low carb video. All right, bye-bye.